everybody. Happy December. Um, I want to get on here real quick and give you um, a story of hope. Um, I'm going to actually share a personal story of what Travis and I went through in 2008 with the market crash. Um, and the reason I want to do this is because, you know, some people are really scared out there of what, of like the interest rates and concerned about pricing and all of that. And I want to share my story because it's pretty bad. <laughs> and um, we survived and we're on the other side of it and have, um, and have grown um, financially, wealth-wise and all of that because of what we did even right before the crash. So I want to share that with you um, to speak to two audiences. One, the move up buyer, because we actually were the move up buyer in 2008. We actually already owned homes. This was our third home. And I also want to speak to the first time home buyer who's afraid to take that first step because the rates are high and they're not sure what's going on. Going on. Um, a lot of us, you know, if you've been around in, you know, in your 20, 20s and older since, you know, you if you were in your 20s in 2008, you saw what happened. It affected a lot of us because we saw it with our parents, we saw it personally. Um, so let me get into it. All right, so here we go. We are gonna first start with um, the, just as the average price, medium price, sorry, medium price since 2006, okay? And, and um, as you can see right here in this bell curve, we saw things kind of softening. And we were already, we already owned two homes, and we were wanting to move up into King County and get a larger home we went from a 1,300 square foot home. We wanted to buy like a 2,000 plus square foot home. We ended up buying a 2,300 square foot home. So we actually closed on it um, in August 2008, which the average, the median price at that point was 395. Okay. Um, so now check this out. Bam, we just dropped down after that, right? Cool, right? Great purchase, way to go, right? I mean, the the fear, the fear takes over. Um, when you're when you buy that and you're just going negative, 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 negative. I mean, for four years, guys, four years. <clears throat> now, the cool thing about this that I want to point out to every audience right now is that we I bought at 6.5% interest rate, 6.5. And actually right now, you there's loans out there that you can get for that and even under. 6.5, which is the highest interest rate loan I actually had purchased ever at the time. So when we did that, and the cool thing is actually now, while the market is tanking, um, interest rates actually dropped and I refinanced a year later for five, Okay. So I actually reduced my monthly outgo by $300 a month. So we refinanced, okay? And then when it kept dropping down here, the rates dropped to 3.25 and we refinanced at that point again. So again, buy the house, date the rate. That's, we literally did that three times we actually did it. Now, that's because of the rate. Okay, so then negative four years, right? Then. Then in 2014, we were back at, see the mean price, 395. So in six years, we went down, then we went up. We lost 30% of value in our home. Most people lost 30 between 40% in their home during this time in 2012. Um, and then now 2014, owning the home for six years, I'm back to even. Okay, that would like, if you were to just think about that, you're like, I do not want that. I would never want that. I, I, I didn't want that. Nobody wanted that. And you don't want that for your future, right? However, what I want to say to you guys is, again, this is not our first home. This is our third home. <clears throat> Second home we lived in as an occupied. But we continued to hold it. Now, we didn't live in it the whole time. We actually did end up buying something else. And then we sold it actually this year. We sold it um, in May 2022. And look, if you look at the median price for King County at that time was 780. So you do the math, 395, 780, it's almost $400,000, right? So can the question is, was, was this a good, should I have bought the house in 08? Well, of course, because look what happened. Now, during this period of me going negative, you have to remember I'm paying down principal this whole time, 
Okay. So if you rented a house, if you're renting a home during this time, you are making, you're paying a hundred percent interest. Nothing is going down to pay down the future. So I'm paying down my debt and then now I'm writing the market up. Now, like, I don't want to go through a negative appreciation market again. And at the same time, I'm not scared, guys. Like I have been through it. We have lived through it. We have come on the other side of it. I'm not afraid of it. I don't like wish it upon anybody, but I'm not afraid of it. The, the, so that speaks to both the move up buyer because we were that and the first time home buyer to get in the game. And then you date the rate. And I literally did that. I mean, I'm an, an example of that. And the other thing I want to point out to you right now is the percent of the list. Let me go back. Let me fix this. Okay, let me show the past three years of how much sellers are getting based on their last list price. Okay, this right here is showing you that people are, were getting um, 100, 100, look at this, 106% over asking rate. Um, if I show the median value, that's like 103% over their asking rate, okay? Those, that's going away. So do you see this? This is about 100%. We're coming down from that, guys. So again, as a first-time home buyer right now, we're, the, the benefit is we're actually able to get those sellers to pay your closing costs or even potentially buy down your rate. Additionally, as a move up buyer, if you're going to keep your house, because I mean, I'm sure the home you currently own is probably an amazing rate of 3% or under, right? I mean, who didn't refinance when the rates were 2%, 3%? Uh, most of y'all did. So I get that. Maybe you can hold on to that house. Maybe you can take some equity out and help with the down payment. Maybe we keep this as a rental for you guys. So you can hold on to it or we can sell it. But when you're going to purchase, you're going to have um, the ability to, to not bend over backwards and like give them like your blood and your third child or your firstborn child. I mean, the environment has changed, guys, and it's back to kind of normal. And if I want to go ahead and show over the past 10 years what that's looked like, um, you can kind of see here. Look at this, what happened? This was us coming out of that, um, coming out of that um, negative equity market, okay? And we flipped over. Now we're gonna come back to this neutral situation here, okay? So that's where we're going. I um, just wanna encourage you all to get off the bench in the game. If you're a move up buyer, you wanna get a bigger property, you wanna go for that bigger acreage, or you wanna go, you wanna downsize and go to a condo, live in the city, whatever it is, there's a way, if there's a will, there's a way. We can help you guys figure that out. And if you're a first time home buyer, let's get off the bench and get in the game. I just showed you like personal story of what I went through. And, and this is not like that. You know, this time is not like that. Okay. Um, you know, we, we have tighter lending, tighter lending requirements now than we did in 2007. I bought a house one time during that time where I didn't have to show them any proof. I just showed them how much money I made and they gave me a loan. That's not existing anymore. So you guys, what happened back then is not going to happen now. All right. Thanks for listening. Happy holidays, guys. Merry Christmas. Uh, let us know if we can help you. Have any questions? Answer. We are here for you. And uh, I'm, I'm stop this.